guys, it's Rosetti Bakes. And today I'm going to show you how to make these cookies using the sugar cookie dough recipe that I showed you in my last video. Now if you didn't watch it, I'm going to leave the link down below so you can see it. Go ahead and click over there, watch the video, and come back if you'd like. So all these are, are sugar cookies with a little bit of seedless jam in the center. They're very good, very delicious, nice golden bottoms. If you want to learn how I did this, just keep watching. Alright guys, so for this cookie, you're going to need a rolling pin, seedless jam, any flavor will work as long as it's seedless, a round cookie cutter, you can use another smaller round cookie cutter but I'm going to use a heart, a small offset, a piping bag, parchment paper, a pan with parchment paper, and then here I'm using sugar cookie dough which I did make a video of so I'll link it down in the description box below. Now let's get started. So to start, we're going to start with our sugar cookie dough, unwrap it. Now I took mine out of the fridge just for a little while just so I can get, so it wouldn't be so stiff. Now with the rolling pin, just roll it out. Now if you're finding it to be too stiff like this, just leave it for a little while. Let it not come completely to room temperature because you don't want it too, uh, too tacky. So just leave it just for a couple of minutes, come back to it and roll it out. So it kind of keeps, like, as you can see, it keeps moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a silicone mat, put it underneath, so I can continue rolling. Alright, so as you can see, my silicone mat is underneath. I just placed it on top. Now I'm going to continue rolling. And it improved a whole bunch more. So just roll it out. You don't want your cookies too thick and you definitely don't want them too thin because once you go to bake them, if it's too thick and you have to cook it for longer, or bake it for longer actually, they'll turn a lot darker, a lot browner, and you want these cookies to be nice and golden. You don't want them brown or burnt or anything. So. Okay, so looking at it, that's about the thickness you want it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out my rounds. Now if you find that you're having trouble with the dough sticking to your cutters, just get some all-purpose flour. And then say this is all-purpose flour, you're just going to dip it in there, shake it around, come onto here, and cut through, and you should have no problem. Alright. So now using your offset, what you're going to do is come back and take away the rest of it. Get it out of the way. You can just smush it all together. You don't have to throw it away. It's all usable. Just smush it all back together and put it in the fridge or the freezer. Save it for a later day. So just do that. You don't have to knead it because it's already been kneaded, so just smush it together. Again, back into the plastic wrap. And now since you have your three discs for on top and your three discs, you're going to use these three and put little hearts in them. So you're just going to cut the little heart. So try and make sure that it's centered. And because these are still chilled, I'm able to pick them up and manipulate them however I need to. And you don't have to throw these away, you can put them back into the dough that you just wrapped, or you can just bake them off with them. Okay, so now, what you're gonna do is just place them on, make sure that they're completely even, push them down just a little bit, Okay, so you can see, it has an indention of a heart. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to fill my piping bag with my seedless jam and fill these up. 
Okay. I have my packing bag full of my seedlings jam. I'm just going to cut off the tip just a little bit. And I'm just going to fill up this little cavity. You don't want to put too much because when it goes to bake, you don't want it to like pop over and you kind of want it just to stay right in the center. Okay, so now that my oven has been preheating at 350, I'm going to put this on the baking sheet and I'm going to put these to bake for about eight to nine minutes, depending on your oven. You're going to want to watch these because you never know if your oven has some hot spots. So I'm going to put these into bake and we'll come back when they're ready. Okay, so now that the cookies have come out of the oven, you're just going to transfer them over to a cooling rack. You don't want to jiggle them around too much because the center is kind of loose. So it needs time to set up. Now with these, with the little hearts, all I did was put a little imprint with my pinky and fill them in with jam. But they look a little funky, but it's okay. I don't mind. So they're out of the oven, I'm just gonna let them cool off, let the centers set up, and we'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the finished product. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to flip one over and show you what it looks like on the back. Nice and golden, not burnt. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Bye.